Next question is from Hades Gray 9. How effective are upright rows in developing the shoulders? What are the best exercises to have a well-balanced and developed shoulder? This is one of those exercises that we were told it was bad. that you should never have somebody do, right? right? That it's real bad for the shoulder. It's going to cause lots of problems. And I want to be very clear, uh, definitely more risk with an upright row because it requires more stability. But if you can do these properly with good control, they're very, very safe. Now, that being said, I love the upright rows for developing the shoulders. In fact, I would put it in the top 10, definitely maybe even top five of the best exercises for developing shoulders. And, and mainly it's because of this. All other effective shoulder exercises involve a combination of shoulders and triceps. So you get that, that shoulder tricep recruitment pattern, right? So an overhead press, right? Shoulders and triceps. Mm -hmm. Well, with an upright row, it's shoulders and biceps. As I'm pulling up, mm -hmm. triceps are not even activated. It's my biceps. So it's a different feel to the shoulders. And I, it's again, it's one of my favorite exercises. In fact, I, it's always in rotation with my shoulder. Workout. Well, I also think that it, it, it incorporates all three parts of the shoulder really well, mm. right? A lot of shoulder exercises, I mean, you can't isolate a part of the shoulder, but a lot of shoulder exercises are targeting a specific part of the shoulder, mm -hmm. your laterals, your front delts, or your rear delts. But in the upright row, you 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 pull with the rear delt, the laterals are incorporated, and even the front is incorporated mm -hmm. with the way that you pull in it. So it's, a, it's one of my favorite exercises to do for the shoulders. Now, as a trainer, I was told that we weren't supposed to do it because everybody is so rounded forward. Yeah. Everybody's so rounded forward, and then you're doing this that exercise was, that's going to tighten them up in that position. Well, more. and I think, too, if, yeah, if you're not addressing uh, some of those postural deviations, like in that, you may be reinforcing bad patterns, uh, you know, but uh, once, once you get all that accounted for and you're able to – uh, get, set your shoulder in a good position where it's 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 you know it's back it's down it's 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 locked in place uh you, you know it has nothing but value from there in terms of like what it provides for development yeah. for the shoulder yeah you know what's funny is that if you do upright rows properly with full range of motion especially at the top where you're actually engaging the upper back musculature it's not a bad exercise for posture. It actually becomes a good one. So that's right. how I cued it. Because I was told that, and I still love the exercise, I was like, okay, well, if everyone, if I'm being told that it's bad because it's just promoting more forward shoulder, mm -hmm. when I cue it, I'm going to cue it as that's where you come from, right? So as you pull up, I'm already cueing rear delt and trap back, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like this, you pull back versus some people, they do this like kind of raise where they're like, they shrug right. their shoulders. No, and I like head. to bring it close to the body at the top. Yes, and, and you pull, pull and squeeze. Yep, right. yep. Yeah. Pull, squeeze, yep. 